So I am standing in a shed that was actually present on the property when we bought it, and it's been really handy. We call it the three bay shed, and uh, we store a lot of stuff in here. And one of the things that we're storing in here are some of the doors and windows for the new house. So um, back before anything really got moving, I knew that we were gonna need windows. And when you're building a house yourself, sometimes it's helpful to get your windows first and then build your house around what you have because windows can be quite pricey if you get them new. Mm -hmm. So I knew I wanted secondhand windows and I knew I needed them before really anything else got going on so that I could design the house around the windows. My first plan of attack was to visit our semi-local uh, Habitat for Humanity Restore. Those are amazing places. If you haven't ever been, you should go. Um, and I targeted a weekend when they had a sale on windows and I bought some. So I'll show those to you here now. Okay, so here, yeah. So here are some of the windows that we got at the ReStore. They were brand new. I kind of picked and chose what I wanted, but they didn't match. They weren't all the same brand, but I wasn't really worried about that because with this type of build, you just can't be too worried about that. However, a few months later, when I really started working in earnest with our contractor, he gave me a call one day and said he was doing a whole house remodel and the people wanted to upgrade their windows. So I wound up getting an entire house full of double pane uh, Milgard Tuscany windows for a hundred bucks each. They're not all this size. These are the smallest at three by three. Many of them are enormous, actually, and it includes three sliding glass doors. So that was huge for us. Um, these windows have a full lifetime replacement warranty, regardless of who owns them at the time. So that is huge. Now, what this means right now is construction is getting underway, however, is that it's my job to go in and scrape off all the old silicone and trim from the previous house and all that jazz and um, so I've got a couple of tools that I'm using for that. The first one is a utility or exacto knife and then this is phenomenal. William let me borrow this. It is a another type of knife that has a razor blade in it that is a really kind of a wider scraper and then I've got various other tools for the job depending on what I need to do. So the goal is to get the windows from looking like this, where you can absolutely tell that they came out of another house, to get them to look like this, where you can still tell that they came out of another house, but it's a much cleaner surface, so the installation will be possible. And of course, these will get re-siliconed and re and sealed and all that good stuff when they go in. So that's what I'm working on today. And if I'm being honest, probably for the next couple of days, because there are lots of windows and sliding glass doors, and they are, as I mentioned, quite large in many cases. So wish me luck. Thanks for tuning in and staying with us. We are really excited to bring you along for the journey and uh, we'll see you next time.